My guess is that you've already been looking at virtual assistant and virtual expert websites and trying to figure out what you want on your own website. Well, I'm here to clear that up for you once and for all, because there are nine pages you want on your website to capture the interests of prospects and convert them to paying clients. And I'm going to share those nine pages with you today. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, business coach and trainer, exclusively for virtual experts. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid virtual experts. On this YouTube channel, I'll show you how to create a virtual expert career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. Here are the nine key pages you want on your virtual expert website. Number one is your homepage, and it is truly number one. It's the most important. Of course, most people get to your homepage as the first thing on your website. So what should your homepage contain? It should contain an overview of the most important things you want people to know about and then links to those most important internal pages. And, mention, and notice I said overview, not details. Page number two is your about page. Guess what that's about? You and your business. And I beg of you, Make this page about you and your business personally. People want to know that you are a real human being. Number three, this is your services and rates page. I like one page with both your services and your rates on it, often the easiest. But if you prefer to separate these two topics into two pages, that's your choice. Depending on your target market and the services you offer, sometimes two pages is a better way to go. I'm going to leave that one up to you. Controversially, a lot of people say don't share your rates information. I say share it depending. Okay, and I'm going to tell you about depending. You know, most people really want to know what your rates are to know if it's anywhere in a range they can afford. So if you're within the $25 to $75 per hour range or you're in competitively priced compared to your competition, I recommend sharing your rates. If you're above $75 per hour and way above your competition's rates or you have high package prices, then don't share the rates on your page because you want to demonstrate your value before you tell people how much your package prices are or your hourly rates are. Without demonstrating your value first, prospects will leave when they see those extremely high rates because they don't understand that you are worth it. Page number four, it's your testimonials page. Obviously, that's going to contain testimonials from happy clients. I recommend a minimum of three testimonials on your page at all times and preferably more as your business grows. Number five, this is your portfolio page. Now they're no longer in the order in which they should be like of importance or anything. The portfolio page is where you put examples of work you've performed. Depending on the services you offer, you may or may not want to include this page on your site. If at all possible, I recommend including it. People love to see examples of your work. If you currently have nothing to show on your portfolio page, you can leave it off for now and add it once you do have something to share. But if you even have one thing to share on your portfolio page, go ahead and add it now. Page six, this is your FAQ page. This is where you answer frequently asked questions. And this is a great page to provide information that doesn't really fit anywhere else on your site. And it's also a great place to do some additional marketing without it feeling like marketing to your prospects. And number seven, your resources page. This is the page where you include recommendations and links to sites, products, and services that you think would be useful for your clients and website visitors. It's beneficial to prospects. And guess what? You can earn affiliate commission if you sign up as an affiliate for services you like. If you want to learn more about how you can earn money as an affiliate, comment in the post and comment on this video and let me know. And I'll create a video on that topic. 
Page eight, it's a blog. There are two reasons for adding a blog to your site. Number one, you need to add new regular con regularly add new content to your site in order for it to rank well in search engines. And the blog is the perfect place to do that. And number two, you want to demonstrate your expertise and writing blog posts is an easy way to do that. And number nine, your contact page, which of course is essential because it tells people how to get in touch with you. Please include your email address, your phone number, and your physical address. The physical mailing address you share can be your home address if you're comfortable sharing that. Or if you're not, you can get a mailbox at a service like UPS or USPS and use that mailing address. I do not recommend using a PO box address. Get a regular street address from those companies. So those are the nine essential pages you want on your website. Would you like to learn more about how to become a well-paid virtual expert? Watch my free webinar by clicking the link below. Also, please just take a second to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then like this video and comment. Let me know what you thought of the video.